Thank you for choosing a stress-free anchor winch. You've made a great choice. With proper use and appropriate care, your anchor winch will provide you with many years of stress-free service. The control panel of your stress-free anchor winch allows you to control it easily and safely. A key feature of the control panel is the position of the circuit breaker and the built-in safety switch. It is recommended that the circuit breaker is only engaged when you're using the winch. This will eliminate the risk of accidentally dropping the anchor whilst travelling. To lower your anchor using power, engage the circuit breaker to power the winch. Position your boat ahead of your mark. Put the boat in reverse and idle back. Whilst idling back, press the down button. By idling back as you lower the anchor, you will keep tension on the rope and avoid the chain bunching on the anchor. Continue to lower the anchor until the rope goes slack. Your anchor has now hit the bottom. Be careful not to continue powering down once the rope goes slack because the rope can go under the side disc and may jam. This is called an overrun and it is difficult to undo. Once the anchor has hit the bottom, there's no need to go up the front and tie off. Disengage the circuit breaker by pressing the button and start fishing. To lower your anchor using free fall, engage the circuit breaker to power the winch. Position your boat just slightly ahead of your mark to allow your anchor to be at the right angle when set. Touch the down button to displace the anchor from the bowsprit. You will now have weight over the bow of the boat. Press the free fall on button, put your boat in reverse and idle back. The free fall on button engages the actuator, which pushes the drum off the drive system, allowing it to free spool. When the anchor hits the bottom, the drum will stop free spooling and your anchor is positioned. If you're not quite on your mark, idle back while still in free fall to get right on top of that favourite spot. The winch will keep spooling out rope until you stop. When you're happy with your position, stop the boat and press the free fall off button. At this point, the actuator will stroke back. Now, lock the drive. To do this, press the down button. At this point, there is no load on the winch and the drive will lock back in. You may hear the drum lock back in. The winch is now back in power up, power down mode. If you're still not happy with your position and need to go back to get on your mark, press the down button to power down the anchor. Be careful not to get any overruns by paying out too much rope. When you're happy with your position, disengage the circuit breaker by pressing the button and start fishing. To retrieve your anchor, engage the circuit breaker to power the winch. Start your engine and while slowly moving forward, press the up button. Continue to spool the rope up until you see the chain. At this point, it is advisable to inch the winch up by repeatedly pressing the up button. Continue to inch up the anchor and then lock it into the bowsprit. If you're fishing in shallow water, use the power down function, not free fall. The free fall rate is five times faster than powering down. So in shallow water, the rope and chain won't have time to spread out before it has hit the bottom and you'll end up with a chain buildup on top of your anchor. Please also note that once you've activated the free fall, the anchor has to go to the bottom. You can't use the up switch whilst in free fall. Nothing will happen and you'll just put strain on the motor. If you have an electrical failure, use the metal lever supplied with your winch to manually push the drum off the drive system to release the anchor. Once the anchor has hit the bottom, tie off. Unfortunately, you'll have to pull the anchor up by hand when help arrives. To keep your anchor winch working at its best, we recommend that after every third or fourth trip, you lightly spray the entire winch with CRC, Inox or WD-40. There are several situations when it is recommended that you tie off. If your anchor is snagged and you're unable to retrieve it, tie off the rope and use the weight of the boat to try and free the anchor. It is also recommended that you tie off when you are fishing in inclement weather when you are sleeping on the boat overnight, and if your electrics have failed and you're waiting for assistance.